So first of all, let's implement the functionality of signing cookies. So I'm going to create a new Python file inside the framework because we're going to be creating now a cookie handler. And we need to import some encryption library because we are going to be encrypting messages. So from hashlib, import SHA-256. And we need to create a secret message, okay? So a secret that we will use to hash strings or hash cookies and to validate them. So secret is equal to. So how do we create a secret message? So this will be a one-off string that we will reuse. This isn't like assault. We, we, we need to reuse this because if every cookie would have their, their, their separate uh, uh, secret message, then we wouldn't be able to actually uh, check if they are valid or not. So in this case, we will need to reuse this. And we can go into item. We can go into our terminal, and I'm going to open a new window. And I'm going to launch the Python interpreter. So again, this is going to be very similar to when we created our salt. Instead, just instead, we're going to create it and, and, and use the string over and over again instead of create one for every single user. Okay. So from OS import u random. And from base 64, import b64 in code, okay. And now we can say b64 in code of urandom 64 bytes long dot decode utf8. Okay, this should be familiar. Okay, great. Now we have a, some kind of random string which we're going to copy. We're going to quit out of this and we're going to copy and simply paste in here okay okay so now we have our secret string okay great so now we want to create two functions one is to sign a cookie and one is to check a signed cookie whether or not the value is legitimate okay so let's say def to define the function sign cookie and we need to pass in a value Okay, so the value we want to sign. So first of all, imagine we, we're going to be passing in IDs and IDs are numbers. So we want to convert this into string. So string value is equal to str value. Okay, so now this value is a string. And signature is equal to SHA-256 of the secret concatenated with the string value. Okay, dot hex digest. So now we have a hash hashing the secret together with a, a, the, the value that we want to sign. Okay, so this is our signature. So what we're going to be returning is our signature in the first place. And then we are going to concatenate some kind of marker so that we know this, the signature is separated from our value and then the value itself. Okay, so the value will actually be readable by the user. But this doesn't matter because if they try to change the value, they, will, they would also need to know our secret in order to reproduce the signature. And since they won't know the signature, because the, the secret, sorry, because it's going to live on our server and no one is ever going to find out unless they hack us. So they won't know what the secret is. So they cannot reproduce the signature. So if they change the value, the signature will, will not match up, okay? And this is where we actually go ahead and, and create the, the check cookie function where we will check if the value matches. So we need the value. And now we will be passing in this entire value into this function when we read the cookie. So we need to say signature is equal to the value. And we need to, to slice this up. We need to slice it up until we find this character. Okay. So we say from the beginning to the value where it finds this character. Okay. So the value of find, the find method basically finds this character in the string. Okay, so this string is going to be all of this. It finds this character and basically since we're putting it into this, this handy slice uh, function, then it's going to slice it up until this character. So essentially we're extracting the signature. Okay. And then the, the, the declared value is the rest. Okay, so it's the value starting from this this value of find of the pipe 
and we need to add one character to comp to compensate for this character so that we don't get this character in our in our value and then colon and nothing because like this we're telling it to go to the very end of the string or to the rest of the string okay so now we have both values separated so we can check if they match up so if sha256 of the secret so again our secret plus the declared value dot hex digest 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 okay hex digest is equal to our signature then we know that the cookie matches up so we can simply return the declared value otherwise we can return a none and in this case we know that the the signature didn't match up so we will not log the user in okay let's go over this one more time so what's happening here well we have a function which signs our cookie which basically we get the raw value of 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 what we want to sign so let's say this is our user id we convert it to string because we're going to be manipulating or concatenating strings and you cannot concatenate the string to a number so we need to convert it to a string and then we're going to hash the concatenation of our secret and our value and what this gives us is the ability to to have a secret component that no one will ever know to to add it to our hash so that then we we are able to check whether or not this value declared by the user because the user can modify the cookie so declared by by the user's browser is legitimate or not so once we have the hash or or once we have the signature we send out the sig signature concatenated with a pipe which we then use in the check cookie but we send out the signature concatenated with the value okay and the value is readable by anyone so this value is not hashed but we have a hash signature which will which we will use to verify this value okay and we verify it in this in this function here in the check cookie so first we have to separate both values the signature from the value and we know they're separated by a pipe so we slice the string the signature is the first component so we slice it up until the pipe and the declared value is the rest so sorry here i, I see i have a bug we don't need this colon here we need to start off with the value defined pipe plus one because we need to compensate for this character so we need to skip this character then colon and to the end of the string so once we have both of these separated we can see if this hashing returns back our signature so we hash again the secret together with the declared value and run the hex digest and see if it is in fact our signature if it is we can return the declared value if it isn't we return none because we know this this isn't uh, this has been faked 